Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Brazil, a land of vibrant cultures, rhythmic music, and breathtaking landscapes, owes much of its rich diversity to the waves of immigrants who have made it their home over the centuries. Tracing your Brazilian ancestry often involves diving into this complex immigration history, where each group of newcomers left a unique imprint on the country's cultural and genetic landscape. Let's journey through the major waves of immigration to Brazil and explore how each has contributed to the nation's melting pot. The story of Brazilian immigration begins with the Portuguese in the early 16th century. In 1500, when Pedro Alvarez Cabral landed on the coast of what is now Brazil, the country was claimed as a Portuguese colony. For over three centuries, Portugal was the primary influence on Brazil, shaping its language, religion, and governance. The Portuguese didn't come alone. They brought with them African slaves to work on the sugarcane plantations that quickly became the backbone of Brazil's economy. This marked the beginning of a long and painful history of forced migration that would have a lasting impact on the country's demographic makeup. If your ancestors were among these early Portuguese settlers or African slaves, you might find traces of them in the oldest records available in Brazil, primarily in Catholic Church archives. Between the 16th and 19th centuries, Brazil became the largest destination for African slaves in the world, receiving between 4 to 5 million people from West and Central Africa. This forced migration created a profound African influence in Brazil, particularly in regions like Bahia, where African culture, religion, and traditions remain strong to this day. Researching African ancestry in Brazil can be challenging due to the limited records from the slavery era. However, there are resources available, including slave registers, manumission records, and more recently, DNA testing, which can help reconstruct the paths of your ancestors. Understanding the African roots of your family tree is a powerful way to connect with this important chapter of Brazilian history. As Brazil moved toward the abolition of slavery in 1888, there was a growing need for labor to replace the freed slaves, particularly on the booming coffee plantations in the state of Sao Paulo. To fill this gap, Brazil actively encouraged European immigration, leading to a massive influx of Italians, Germans, Spaniards, and Portuguese in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Italian immigrants were the most numerous, with over 1.5 million arriving between 1880 and 1920. Many Italians settled in Sao Paulo, where they worked on coffee plantations or moved into urban areas as the country began to industrialize. If you're tracing Italian roots, you'll find that records from both Brazil and Italy can be quite rich, including ship manifests, civil registrations, and Catholic Church records. German immigrants started arriving in significant numbers earlier, in the 1820s, with many settling in the southern regions of Brazil. They established close-knit communities that preserved much of their language, culture, and traditions. Tracing German ancestry often involves delving into local church records, newspapers, and German language documents that have been meticulously maintained in these communities. Spanish immigration also surged during this period, particularly after Spain faced economic challenges in the late 19th century. Spaniards found work in Brazil's growing cities and agricultural sectors. Researching Spanish ancestry can lead you to civil and church records both in Brazil and in Spain. The 20th century saw new waves of immigrants arriving in Brazil, this time from Asia and the Middle East. These groups added even more layers to Brazil's already diverse society. Japanese immigrants began arriving in 1908, and Brazil now has the largest Japanese population outside Japan. Many Japanese settled in Sao Paulo and Parana, working initially on coffee plantations and later establishing their own businesses and farms. Japanese Brazilian genealogy can be explored through ship records, immigration documents, and family registries known as koseki in Japan. Middle Eastern immigrants, particularly from Lebanon and Syria, also made their way to Brazil in the early 20th century. These immigrants were often involved in commerce and trade, contributing to Brazil's economic development. 
records for these groups might include naturalization documents, business records, and religious archives. Immigration to Brazil didn't stop in the early 20th century. The country continues to attract people from around the world, each group contributing to Brazil's ever-evolving cultural mosaic. Today, you'll find communities from Korea, China, Haiti, and beyond, all adding their unique flavors to Brazilian society. For those tracing their ancestry in Brazil, understanding these waves of immigration is crucial. Each wave brought with it not just people but languages, traditions, and customs that have woven themselves into the fabric of Brazilian life. Whether your ancestors came from Europe, Africa, Asia, or the Middle East, their stories are part of the larger narrative that has shaped Brazil into the vibrant, diverse country it is today. Thanks for listening to the Ancestral Findings podcast. Be sure to visit ancestralfindings.com to download a free genealogy ebook, request a free genealogy lookup, and sign up for the weekly giveaway. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy searching. Have you heard about the 2018 study that showed half of prenatal vitamins tested had unacceptable levels of heavy metals? No? Well, now you have. I'm Kat, mother of three and founder of Ritual a company making traceability the new standard in the supplement industry. I remember staring at my prenatal vitamins and finding all these things I was trying to avoid. High amounts of heavy metals, synthetic colorants, and unnecessary ingredients. So, at four months pregnant, I quit my job and started Ritual, because I believe that all women deserve to know what they're putting in their bodies and why. I'm so proud of our prenatal vitamin. The ingredients are 100% traceable, it's third-party tested for microbes and heavy metals, and recently received the Purity Award from the Clean Label Project. You see, we trace like a mother because, let's be honest, no one cares quite like a mother. But don't just take my word for it. Trace for yourself with 25% off at virtual.com slash podcast. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. Recently, I asked Mint Mobile's legal team if big wireless companies are allowed to raise prices due to inflation. They said yes. And then when I asked if raising prices technically violates those onerous two-year contracts, they said, what the f*** are you talking about, you insane Hollywood ass!" So to recap, we're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in detail.